Hello Blazers, uh, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, doing today? Welcome to a brand new video. Finally sitting down to record this. I've been trying to do this for like four last days, but I've been just sick as hell. And today I'm quite excited because we're going to be reacting to some funny Russian propaganda. Yeah guys, I talk about propaganda on this channel all the time, but recently it's only been, you know, very depressing. Today we finally got a goofy and lighthearted one because today we're going to be reacting to Russian viral video propaganda. So Russian propaganda comes in a lot of facets. It might be media, television, pro Russian journalists or bots spreading the message or whatever but sometimes Russia actually produces videos that are supposed to be viral in order to basically push a narrative for example in 2018 when Russia was conducting the presidential election uh, the Russian opposition headed by Alexei Navalny who was not in prison yet at that time basically called for boycotting the election because all the candidates were fake and you know set up by the governments and we all knew that Putin will win this election and of course he did so the Russian government as a propaganda to promote the election made a couple of viral internet videos to uh, make people vote and this was one of the most popular ones it's essentially a video that covers like a normal day of a regular Russian guy and the entire storyline of the video is that his day gets ruined because of the new laws that were passed by the new president that is now in power because nobody went to vote apparently and now the country is being ran by a complete moron Ну ты чего? Сегодня по закону любая семья должна брать гей на передержку тех, которых партнер оставил. Ну, неделя осталась. Если он никого не найдет себе в пару, тогда тебе придется с ним быть. Закон есть закон. Yeah, classic appeal to homophobia, which is something, by the way, you're gonna see a lot in these uh, Russian viral propaganda videos that are being made. A lot of them are based on sexism, homophobia, transphobia. But the reason why I'm even talking about this particular video from 2018 is that there's a particular scene from it that aged very, very well. General Boyko, пришли забирать вас в армию. Какую армию? Мне 52 года. Отлично. Призывной возраст подняли до 60. Кто поднял? Как кто? Президент? Вы же сами за него голосовали. Да ни за кого я не голосовал. До свидания, дядя. Yeah, guys, you get what I mean, right? Essentially, the point here is that if you didn't go and uh, vote for Putin in this election, the next president, whoever it's gonna be, is gonna be so terrible that he's gonna change the rules of uh, drafting to the military and he's gonna draft your ass even if you're like 54 years old, 60 years old, whatever. Of course, once again, something that will never ever happen in Putin's Russia. <laughs> I just, I just can't. This is just poetry. This is actually so, this is so good. Anyway, the video that we're going to be watching today is actually so similar to this. It feels like it was filmed by the same exact people. And before we get to it, another one I want to mention is also in 2020, there was a referendum in Russia regarding the amendments to the constitution. Long story short, Putin, who throughout his career said that he will never amend or change the constitution multiple times. Оскорбительный, на мой взгляд, для нашей страны, для нашего народа совета поменять конституцию. Мозги им надо поменять, а не конституцию нашу. Мозги decided to change the constitution so that basically he can rule Russia forever. That was basically the main point and the main idea. Of course, it passed, by the way. But also one of the amendments to the constitution was that apparently it's written down in the new constitution now that marriage is a uh, bond between a man and a woman. So they also made another uh, viral video propaganda for this referendum. And basically in this video, it was a kid who's in like a orphanage and then he gets picked up by two gay dudes. And basically the whole message of the video is like, is this the Russia you want? Hold yes for the amendments in the Constitution if this should not happen in our country. Такую Россию ты выберешь. Реши будущее страны. Голосуй за поправки в Конституцию. And I mean, go off, I guess. I don't really get the point, though. A kid who would grow up in extreme poverty because orphanages in Russia are just awful would now have parents. I guess that's bad. <laughs> but yeah, long story short, these viral propaganda videos are made for idiots who have no understanding of politics or anything that's going on in the country to drive their attention away from the fact that their human rights and their freedom is being crushed and to just point their attention to something else that's apparently supposed to destroy them. You know, some kind of Western boogeyman, like the LGBT, Western tolerance or whatever they talk about. And basically, the reason why I wanted to show you those two videos, because what we're going to be looking at now is a video that was released this month, which is meant to sort of tell the Russian people 
people that the Western world is terrible and the idea of moving or immigrating to a Western country or America is actually very bad. And the video is very full of homophobia, sexism, racism, transphobia, I mean, you name it, all of it. So without further ado, let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> so if you didn't get it yet, it's very easy. The plot of the video is that this couple is moving from Russia to America. They're on a plane and on this exact plane they're gonna be realizing why America is not all that big to be excited for. <laughs> Bitch, why would you ask them if they're flying to America if you're on the same plane as them? What is this? And also, I mean, you can already tell, this is basically the same, it's like filmed and edited by the same people who did those previous propaganda videos. The same goofy ass, funny, like, you know, sneaky snitch looking ass music in the background. But yeah, it's literally the same thing. So yeah, I mean, okay, it's, <laughs> it's, just, it's just sad. This is like, this is just basically right-wing propaganda at this point. It's just funny because they're trying to make some sort of points, but it just falls flat and it doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, guys, God forbid people have the freedom to do whatever they want to their bodies. I know, right? It's fucking terrible. But Zima fuckers hate freedom, I guess. So they'll be like, of course, America sucks. Let me take a swing at this vodka. <laughs> <laughs> this is so insane, holy shit. First of all, you're not in the United States of America, you're on the plane there. This, the, the laws of the United States of America don't apply, even if they were taking meat away in the United States of America. Literally 1984, by the way. They take you where you meet because somebody is vegan in the back. Americans are my biggest demographic on this channel. Uh, guys, please write down in the comments if this has ever happened or will ever happen. And by the way, what does the concept of democracy have to do with veganism? Or like the idea of, you know, you eating meat offending somebody else? Because that's the idea here, right? What does that have to do with democracy? You guys are fucking insane. The, who the fuck writes this? Honestly, to me, it feels Feels like the majority of the people who actually used to write like <laughs> most of the motherfuckers who come up and you know write these sketches ideas for these propaganda videos and everything those who were good at it probably left Russia after the mobilization started or some shit so now they just left with this garbage <laughs> which doesn't even make fucking sense and guys the funniest thing is right I'm not an America dick writer America is a country with a lot of problems and I realized that you know I think when I was like 17 18 I used to think America was perfect and Russia is terrible now I realize America has a lot of problems but this it's not a way to criticize America at all, you're just making no fucking sense because you clearly never fucking been there and you work as a, at a shitty job at some fucking Kremlin troll factory pushing this garbage out for dumbasses who have no discernible skills in the processing or understanding information. I mean, it's just pathetic, honestly. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I know it's about to get very racist. I just know it's about to get very racist. toilet? What do you want? Hmm? I want to go to the toilet. Простите, мистер, что случилось? Да вот парень без очереди лезет тут. И что? Вы не хотите его пропустить? Я? Конечно, конечно. Его надо пропустить. Мы подождем. Его народ долгие годы терпел притеснение белых. Мы Перед всеми афроамериканцами в долгу. 
Простите нас, сэр. Прошу вас. Oh my fucking god. I mean, I know, I know what they're trying to reference here, and this is, once again, this is literally like, this is like far-right propaganda shit. It pretty much is. I understand they're making fun of, like, the BLM process here and everything, you know, how people would, like, kneel in front of black people or whatever during the process, which was just, like, two weird people doing it out of, like, 200,000. And I guess the insinuation here, once again, is that uh, America, in America, you have to, like, kneel down to black people to be tolerant, to be accepted into society, when, once again, this is a situation that would never happen happen in real life. White people don't have to let black people to come before them in lines where they're standing in the line to the toilets because uh, they're doing affirmative action or whatever. This is not something that happens in real life. This video is literally some schizovatniks like conceptions of America that uh, he just, you know, <laughs> rolled down on paper and then they filmed it. This is literally what it is. Oh uh, my god, I'm s we're, we're actually doomed. We're actually so fucking doomed. <laughs> insane. Also, clearly, the black guy is just an African student who lives in Russia and studies there, probably, who, you know, took part in this video for money. It's just kind of sad, man, because deep down, the people who wrote this case, they don't just, you know, dislike Americans. They don't like anybody who's not white or Slavic or Russian. Just terrible implications at every level, you know? Sir. Прошу вас. Even the... <laughs> Even the flight attendant has taken a knee. Of course. Of course. Happens all the time, you know? I mean, yeah, I guess it's a funny scene, but that's just because it's not real. <laughs> this will never fucking happen. Нет, 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 вы все трое. Зачем? Там сзади пара, а не child free. Картошку фри, что ли, едят? Yeah, guys, I mean, I understand by what uh, command they're working from here, because um, the Russian government, as I'm speaking about this right now, it's actually, uh, like, writing a new law, and the Russian government is essentially trying to ban not only LGBT propaganda in Russia, so they basically will ban anybody who speaks about LGBT or LGBT issues, whatever, you know, acknowledging that gay people exist, will get you to go to fucking jail, but also, not only that, they are also bundling child-free ideology with it, so there's actually people in the Russian government right now now that wants to make the child-free ideology illegal in Russia. Even though I wouldn't even describe it as an ideology, it's just the way of people living. And also the fucking, uh, once again, the insinuation that if somebody's child-free, they can sit next to a child and they would judge people with kids is fucking stupid. Child-free is literally just a way of living life when a person doesn't want kids. I'm not even child-free, I just realized that this is fucking idiotic and it's made for like 50-year-old grandmas in fucking Zalupkina village to get mad at. Because they didn't know shit about the Western world about what human rights are because they've never had them and they think the West is out to destroy their family values. Sorry guys, I don't know, went on a bit of a uh, tangent there. But yeah, this is fucking nonsense, but once again, I know why they're doing it because Russia is actually actively trying to demonize the child-free ideology now as well, the idea of being child-free. They don't even just hate gay people or trans people at this point, they hate people who don't want to have kids because of course we need more kids to send to die in a... Absolutely insane. Child-free. Это когда люди осознанно не хотят иметь детей. А мы при чем? Дело в том, что ваш сын попадает в поле их зрения, и это вызывает у них дискомфорт. Как нельзя! Вы не собьете! Не боись! Мы плавать умеем! С каждым носиком, что еще пониже, надо опуститься! Прости, матушка Россия! Без попутал! Мы возвращаемся! So yeah, that is, uh, that is the whole video. The idea of the whole video, I guess, is to convince people that moving to another country, uh, America especially, is a terrible idea because let's uh, connect all the dots here. So first of all, you have trans people. You can't eat meat on the plane because you have vegan passengers sitting behind you because that's a real thing that happens. You have to always let black people come first, even if they're in the line behind you, and you have to kneel before them as well because that's a real thing that happens. And you also can't be outside with a child because there's people who don't like children and who uh, do not 
not want to have children and you're obstructing their field of view and they find it annoying so yeah you can't basically go outside you don't have no freedom whatever you don't know what the fuck this is this is literally i've been talking about this shit for ages now how not only does russian propaganda but also right-wing propaganda in the west say that russia is like a country that is actually more free than the u.s you don't have all the sjw shit you don't have this you know cancel culture you don't have the woke mob canceling you on twitter or the fuck like shut the fuck up please you fucking idiots like <laughs> I understand that this video is literally made for 50 year old like Vatniks to just have a little laugh at you know and jerk themselves off thinking how much more free and you know better they are than Americans are which is obviously not true because they live in a fucking prison where there's no human rights no proper courts not no nothing and I'm not saying that there's no bra moments as far as courts go in America or anything you guys have some fuck shit that happens and your police come on like I stand for black lives matter and all of that for sure so I understand this video whatever you know the 50 year old fucking Z motherfuckers with one brain cell will love this but there's probably actually a bunch of americans or you know anybody westerners that are like yeah this is facts uh why can't i say the n-word on twitter but if in russia i can go and say it russia is actually a freer country than the u.s fuck all you motherfuckers put in the best guy of all time i fucking hate this i absolutely fucking hate this this video is despicable and it's literally created and based around the fear of another because obviously guys you want to be the new soviet union right so we want every single person to be the same everybody needs to be of the same race ethnicity gender uh sexual orientation and if you vary you're either out of the norm or you're a traitor to the russian nation so america has all these people with all their differences and everything that's bad that's that's very bad you need to uh not think freely you need to never think for yourself and you need to just blindly follow the leader and be willing to die for him in any circumstances regardless whether you agree with anything that's going on in the country or not i fucking hate this i'm actually so angry like i, I it's, it's really hard for me to uh to even over estimate how much these videos piss me off but again i do feel like the rights and quality and the actual uh, amount of sense these videos make have dropped so i do think that the majority of the people who used to create these propaganda videos have just left russia and stopped working with the kremlin so now the quality of propaganda uh, viral videos in russia is dropping significantly because <laughs> All the decent writers or whatever have left so yeah i guess this is gonna be pretty much it for today's video though if you guys did enjoy it then please make sure to slap the like on it as well guys if you want to support my channel if you want to support me additionally then go over to the link down in the description you can become a youtube member it's basically like youtube's own version of patreon so if you want to donate to me you better do it that way it's actually easier for me to get paid and everything and i really appreciate everybody's help so yeah if you want to support me go down to the link in the description and yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video once again and i will see you guys in the next one Pew.